So sometimes when you're playing in Diamond Dynasty, before the game even begins, you just feel the match is going to be a really, really tough match. And you, if I thought that for this one, I absolutely did. That was absolutely freaking right. This has to be the toughest ranked season game I've played thus far. When I tell you that uh, home runs were like crazy this game, they were like crazy. Good pitches, good pitching throughout, and it didn't even matter. I was hitting good pitches, he was get hitting good pitches, and they were just home runs for everyone. So, I had a feeling he was going to be a good player, just even before the game started. I saw the cards that he had, which means he does a lot of grinding, and generally people that are doing all the grinding are people that really take this game seriously. So when you see people that have all these cards, generally, you feel, and he's also a silver uh, level right here, I had a feeling this was going to be a tough, 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 tough. Tough game. And like I said, it was. So we're playing at good old Shea Stadium here. I, I decided to go spend the, uh, I think I got it for like 1200 yeah, 1200 k 1200 And I thought I actually smashed this ball here. I waited on that curveball. It was a little bit of a hanger. I, th I was like, I want to see what happened with this. And I was good. I was a little bit off-center. And I was like, all right. I think it could got a little better than that. And then the same thing happens with Buddy Bell here. He gets the nice, beautiful swing. I thought I was directly... On this bad boy, let's take a look again. Let's take a look at that. She. Yep, I was pretty much right on that, and all I got was a fly ball out. So it does appear that they did act with the patch today. They did actually take out those just late inside, uh, you know, opposite field home run, you know, BS jammed home runs. But it also seems like they haven't really fixed some of the green swings because honestly, that was ridiculous. That was lazy. Fly ball out. That should have been a, a double in the gap or a line drive at somebody, at least. That was absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what this game is doing. So here I'm actually just showing this entire Freddie Freeman at bat. This was a really, really tough at bat. And you know what? I was damn proud of it. Damn proud of it, although it doesn't actually end up going my way. It was a nice battle. You don't usually see battles like this too often on online play. Generally, the game makes you put uh, balls in play. And that was like a perfect pitch. On the outside corner, I was just early. It was a delicious, delicious pitch. And I gotta say, like this has to be probably the the best opponent I've faced thus far. We have a very similar... Actually, I was looking at his statistics after the game, and it's amazing how they mirror each other. And I mean, with everything, with like at-bats, plate appearances, batting average, all these things are like close. Home runs, walks, it's, it's amazing. It was amazing to me. So there I, with David, I was actually waiting for him to, I had a feeling he was going to throw a first pitch strike, first pitch fastball. I was I sat on it, got it. I was only able to uh, hit a single on it, unfortunately. But uh, I, I, fe I felt that I actually hit pretty well this game, uh, which which I did, and, and so did he. You're, you're, you're going to see. This was one of these games where I was just like, when is it going to end? I'm going to tell you right now, without spoiling really anything. It was a quite the seesaw game, and can flashback, all-star, Ken Griffey Jr. goes yard here. So I just started to do this mission where you have to get the, uh, what's it, 10 home runs and 22 RBIs in 30 games. So, so far in, I believe, three games, I have two home runs and four RBIs. That's not bad. The, if we keep up at that pace, we're going to be able to actually get it. So we hope that we stay on a similar pace to that. So I take an early 2 to nothing lead. I was feeling... Pretty good, because generally speaking, I don't give up more than like three or four runs a game. So if I score two in the second inning, I'm feeling uh, pretty good about myself here. So my run differential in this game so far is absolutely insane, and for the I think I I don't think I I no longer have it, but I was scoring, I was averaging a run in an inning, and I was over 130 innings played, which I think is actually also quite quite insane online play. So my uh. My average per inning was a was a run an inning I was scoring, and uh, so 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 here is a uh, I think this was just late. So you're seeing a lot of these now, which is fine. If you're just late and you're beat inside and you're jammed, you should not be hitting bombs the opposite field. So this inning I think we're coming up right here. I'm about to show was a really really frustrating inning. So he he leads off with Rondon. Pretty much he had the same idea that I did. Last uh, last inning, like I'm gonna wait on if I'm gonna wait on a specific pitch and jump all over it if I get it, and that's exactly what he did. I gave him a fastball in the outside corner. It wasn't a good pitch, a mistake pitch. I missed my spot, and uh, that was that. And this Melvin, Melvin, I'm gonna just call you Melvin, BJ. No, you're BJ, BJ, BJ. I don't know what the heck happened there. I was right behind the blue arrow, and I don't know what happened. It was like the blue arrow disappeared, and then it wouldn't let me move right after that. 
And then what is this? His pitcher, Lance McCullers, ropes a single down the line to, to uh, cut the lead in half. And I was like, get out of here. I can't I can't win right now. I just I just can't freaking win. And then we have a double play ball here, which, uh, well, he's got down the line pretty quickly. Unable to uh, turn the double play. He's able to uh, score the run. I didn't think it mattered to him. Was, there, there weren't any outs anyway. That run was going to score regardless. So he's able to tie up the game thanks to them shoddy, shoddy defense. Speaking of shoddy defense, David, you're breaking my heart, man. Breaking my heart. Gold caliber stats, gold glove caliber stats, and it just, it just meant nothing. It meant nothing. I was like, get out of here. Luckily, I'm able to get out of the inning, though, with any more damage on El Cepeda smashes this ball. I was like, <gasps> I was kind of scared, guys. I'm, I'm not going to lie. So I knew this game was not going to be an easy game to win by, by any means. And Reggie Jackson here just ropes one into the gap here at Shea Stadium. I was hoping maybe I could try to throw him out, but Reggie's too fast. He's not like a, a burner by any means, but 74 speed is good enough. If you get one in the gap, you're... I don't care who the hell's throwing it. And I'm like, I was afraid that I was going to miss the arrow again this time. Gosh, that, that that first one. I think that was really the turning point of this game. That was one of the main things in this game that like really screwed things up. And here's Matt Carpenter. I wasn't too worried about facing Matt Carpenter here. Lefty on lefty. Lefty on lefty, not too... And there's lefty on lefty crime. Lefty on lefty crime, guys. Look where this pitch was, though. This couldn't have been a better pitch. Look at this pitch. Look at it! <laughs> it's high and inside. I understand he got good contact on it. Know what he should have done? Pulled that crap foul. That's what he should have done. And then, of course, it's like when it rains, it pours. This happens. And at this point, I'm like, I have no chance of winning this game. I'm going to lose this game. That's just how I felt at that time. I was like, nothing I'm doing is working. And I'm able to uh, actually be very lucky Buddy Bell is able to get to this ball. So I have Buddy Bell starting because I have to get the five doubles of them because I would like to get that Ian Kinsler card. And, and David Wright going deep once again. David Wright is so freaking clutch. That one I actually, I was waiting on a breaking ball that time. I waited for that breaking ball. I thought I was going to get it. And I power swung and just drove that over the left field fence for a bomb to tie up the game. And then we have our, our boy, uh, who is this, Freddie Freeman up here right now? No, no, this is Griffey. Griffey, have yourself a game, Griff. Look at that. Look at that. Griffey, it's a pretty good game for me to get at least start to get my Griffey stats going. You know what I'm saying? That's my third home run with Griffey within a four-game span. So pretty damn good. I am on my way to trying to get that breakout Ken Griffey Jr. card, which is a really frustrating card to get. You really do have to play well with that card. Thankfully, he plays very well against right-handed... Uh, right-handed pitchers. Left-handed pitchers, he's not such a great card, although I have hit home runs with him before off lefties, and then lefties have hit, done lefty and lefty crime with me before. Yeah, it's a little, uh, a little preview of what's going to happen, uh, later in this, uh, <laughs> later in this video. So he was, you know, using McCullers here, and he was, I, I think he was pitching pretty well, because McCullers is not that good of a card. I was, I had the, the flashback, uh, CC Sabathia, and I actually, pinch hit right here to put Trey Turner in, because I wanted to get something going, and he was figuring out CC, so I was like, we gotta get CC out of this game, BJ Upton is able to dribble one down the line right here, and I'm like, alright, things are going, things are going, I, I was feeling good about this thing, I thought I was gonna score, and then there's a nice pitch there that gets me, I couldn't pull the trigger on it, and he pretty much gives me a beautiful pitch right there, actually, it's kind of a hanger, I just thought it was gonna go lower, and I just missed it, a little frustrating, then we, who, who's up right now? I think David is up right now. Trying to get something going, guys. We just need to get a fly ball. And we were, I was actually Eric Harris. I pinch hit for Freddie Freeman, actually. So here is David with two outs, and I just weakly ground one out. I was a little too quick on this ball on the outside corner, and that was that is what it is. That was very unfortunate that I wasn't able to get the run in. It was could have been a big run, you know, but instead the game remains tied at five runs. A pop. Maybe we'll get a strikeout here. There weren't many strikeouts in this game from either side. I looked at our uh, statistics after the game, too. Neither of us strike out very much. I, both of us have under uh, 45 strikeouts, which is pretty damn good if I do say so myself. And this swing was ridiculous, actually. This was a contact swing. All right, it was a 2-2 count against Kyle Bearclaw. 
And I was like, I am not messing around. I just want to put contact on here. And that was a contact swing, and I drove one for a bomb over the fence. I don't know how the heck that happened. Because they didn't even make Cespedes' power this, that good in this game. I, I don't understand how they did. But he doesn't even have 80 power against righties or lefties. So that was a, like an anomaly that that was able to happen. So I'm able to get the uh, fly out here. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good at this point, though. You know, like early on, I wasn't feeling that great. And then uh, here, and look at this, Griffey. Griffey takes me deep. <laughs> lefty on lefty crime for the second time in the game. First it was Carpenter, now it was Griffey. This was not a good pitch. Don't get me wrong, this was not a good pitch. It, was, it wasn't an awful pitch, actually. It was on the outside corner, it was a little bit up. I don't know how that Griffey was able to take that up, pull that for a home run. I was a little frustrated with that. I don't think I've ever hit a home run like that when somebody has such crappy stats against lefties. But Buddy Bell is able to rope one down the line. I was going to go for two, but I had a feeling I was going to probably get thrown out, which I most likely would have based upon that, and it just wasn't worth it at that point to do that. I understand there's two outs you want to get in scoring position, but you also don't. You also have your big boppers coming up. I have David Wright coming in, I have Eric Harros, and Eric Harros goes... Yard! I knew I put him in the game for a reason. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to hit that home run the first time around, but his second at bat, bam! He was able to do so, and we got the lead back. David Wright wasn't able to do anything. And then we have Matt Carpenter here, who now I'm scared shitless of at this point. And they actually make a really good pitch here, and he's able to somehow lay off it. It was right underneath that call could have gone either way. And we, we had two outs, and I'm like, all right. So he brings up Curtis Granderson. So, of course, I, bl I bring in Glenn Perkins, who I just recently got. Another guy debuting for Ranked Seasons for me on the YouTubes. And I had a feeling this was going to happen. He brings in Paul Goldschmidt. I'm like, right, going to start him out with a slider, see what he does with it. And he's very smart. He just spits on it. And then I try to get cute here. Am I going to try to put a fastball inside off the plate? See if we can get him to j jam him. And he rockets it deep. I missed my spot. So I tried to get it in, it bled right back out over the plate, and what happens? You put it up there to Paul Goldschmidt against a lefty, and that was it. At this point, I was like, alright, eighth inning, I just blew this game again. It's like my third blown save in the game, and yes, that's actually how it works. If you Once the relievers come in, they have leads, You multiple people can blow saves in the game. It doesn't have to be the last inning. So then there's a double right there, and I was ready to bring in the uh, my next guy, my next reliever, and pff, then there's that. One thing I, I hate about Diamond Dynasty players, I do think that they should not be allowed to be switch hitters. It really messes up the dynamic. I think they're really cheap. It is what it is there, though. I do wind up bringing in the righty. I don't remember which righty this was. It may have been Cody Allen. Who is it here? I can't even see this. Is it Cody Allen? No, it's uh, Joaquin Soria, I believe, actually. No, Soria wasn't. Probably is Allen. Eh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it was, it was Cody Allen. So at this point, this is my last licks right here. We got J.D. Martinez pinch hitting, all he's able to do is ground out. I was pretty demoralized here, guys. It was actually my first loss in like 14 games or something like that. I mean, not 14. That's maybe a little much. Maybe about 10 or 11 games. First loss, I've been on a nice win streak. BJ Upton isn't able to do anything there. It's all up to Buddy Bell. See if Buddy Bell can keep this game alive. Nope, not there. <laughs> Just a little bit out in front. Just a little bit out in front. Next pitch. Chase one out of the zone. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. He's got he's got Chapman in here now, who's been who has destroyed me in the eighth inning. I, I had no chance to do anything. And then what I do, I just had I just hit a little foul ball here. I'm just trying to protect at this point. Just trying to stay on base. I'm actually using my contact swing here at this point, and I just roll over a weak, weak ground ball, and that's the game, guys. So that's it. And I am now um, two games away from the championships here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you soon. Later.